So the question on everyone's minds, yes. mm. how long can we expect these conditions to last? Yeah. Meteorologist Evelyn Taft has your answer with your next <laughs> weather. And Evelyn, I have to say, you know, we're used to the rain here where it's kind of on for an yep. hour, off for an hour. Yep. It has been nonstop non -stop. today. Stop. I mean, like the governor was just saying, seven out of eight atmospheric rivers. I mean, it's unbelievable. It's just been one after the next after the next. We've got one more to go after this, and we're live tracking what's happening right here on our next weather radar. So let's take a closer look. Come with me, satellite radar. We are tracking cells that are actually just moving in to the Santa Monica Bay. Before we get there, though, we have a little treat for you. And yes, that was in Big Bear. We're going to get back to that. Yep, two eggs from the bald eagle. Isn't that cute? I know. So we're looking at snow in the mountains, but we'll get there in a moment. I do want to track our next weather satellite radar right here. Take a look. All of the yellow on your, yellow on your screen indicating heavy rain. Take a closer look. El Segundo right there. We're looking at heavy downpours along Manchester Avenue. We're starting to get hit with some heavy rain as well. We do want to live track these cells because they're starting to move into Inglewood there, the 105 and El Segundo. As we take a closer look at what to expect there, take a look at this little guy starting to move closer. And once it gets to El Segundo in the next nine minutes, we could expect to get more heavy rain right there. Let's take a look at this particular cell that's been sitting over the 10 and the 110 interchange there starting to get very heavy in the area. So we're going to continue to track it for you. You'll see Whittier Boulevard starting to see some steady showers and we could see the cell continue to move toward the southeast and as it does this is what we're expecting some heavy rain coming through Boyle Heights and East LA and the Redondo Junction in the next five minutes. Now let's take a closer look at what's happening in Big Bear and you will see quite a bit of snow and that's going to continue to be the case around resort level 5500 feet and above. We're going to see snow through tomorrow and with this next round of rain as well so snow levels continue to drop. In fact right now along the 18 and 38. We are looking at pretty whiteout conditions. We did have that shot of uh, the. Uh, yep, there it is. This is the nest, the bald eagle nest, where we've got two eggs up in the mountains near Big Bear. Isn't this beautiful? So we are getting a live look at the nest right now, where it is actively snowing, and we've got two eggs that we're tracking. So also tracking eggs tonight, along with the rain. Let's get to that future cast and track the rain for the rest of the night. By 7 o'clock, we're looking at widespread heavy rain. We're still going to see some heavier pockets moving through parts of LA County into Orange County. Now, overnight, we're going to start to see things let up after midnight or so through the morning hours. There still will be some showers, but by later tomorrow, we are expecting the heavy rain to return, especially by the 10 o'clock hour. In fact, by 10 p.m., and then midnight and after midnight, widespread rain and really not stopping until about Monday morning, 1045. We're still in it, but later in the day, things letting up, especially by 11 p.m. Monday night. We could see some leftover showers into Tuesday, but again, very much scattered in nature. Nothing compared to what we're really contending with right now and what we're, we're contending with tomorrow night. We will continue to track your extended forecast throughout the night. I do want to tell you we will see drier conditions by Tuesday into next weekend. Back to you guys.